Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. So let's check our secure connections, adjust our hoodies, and as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. A Discord server and the other side metaverse for Yuga Labs, creators of the Board Ape Yacht Club NFT series, was breached last week. The breach resulted in a phishing attack with over $360,000 in NFTs being stolen. NFT owners often gather in Discord servers to organize and talk about their collection. The server has come under two phishing attacks already this year, making this the third occasion in which the server was breached. Yuga Labs confirmed the news of the scam targeting the Discord server in a tweet, stating it was actively investigating the incident. So how exactly did this happen? Well, the Discord account of a Board Ape Yacht Club staffer and project community manager, Boris Wagner, was hacked. It's unclear how the community manager's Discord account was compromised at this time. The hacked account then posted phishing links in official channels. The compromised account promised targets an exclusive giveaway with a phishing link. Then unsuspecting token holders of NFTs clicked on this malicious link. And then they granted permission to a contract that took their tokens and NFTs from their account. The Board Ape Yacht Club group in question has provided an email address for impacted users to report the theft. At this time, it's unclear how the targeted users will be compensated for the NFTs that were stolen, if at all. What is abundantly clear is that Wagner's position of trust encouraged many to buy into the scam losing their NFTs in the process, although the giveaway offer should have raised some suspicions, especially given the fact that the Board Ape Instagram account was hacked just six weeks ago, with 2.5 million worth of NFTs being stolen during that heist. This hack is the latest of a number that have used Discord as the medium of the attack. 70 Discord attacks have already taken place in the last two months. So we can definitely say this is not an isolated incident, but a growing trend. Discord is the most popular communication tool among the NFT community, but it's not intended to be an asset security system. It was originally designed as a gamer oriented version of a messaging system. Back in April, 2022, two similar phishing attacks were also executed against the same Discord server. According to the Federal Trade Commission report on consumer protection data, online users have lost a collective 1 billion in crypto scams since the beginning of 2021. So what's next after this incident? Well, Board Ape Yacht Club co-founder Gordon Goner has pointed fingers at Discord, saying, quote, Discord isn't working for Web3 communities, the tweet begins, and quote, we need a better platform that puts security first. End of quote. The crypto community has also been vocal about the issue. Users have discussed the drop in trust for NFTs due to the increase in scams that even come from official sources. Web2 applications such as Discord have again been shown to be the weak link for blockchain projects. There are solutions being released to attempt to combat the problem of scam websites. A Chrome extension called WalletGuard attempts to solve this problem in the Web3 space. This tool did flag the URL of the phishing site posted to Boris Wagner's Discord account and could have aided investors in deciding if they could trust the link. As fascinating and exciting as the Web3 space is, especially in regards to NFTs, they are very weak in regards to security. And these type of scams and issues are going to continue to plague the industry until there's a greater focus on securing systems, servers, application, and overall processes within the Web3 space. Check out the Dark Web Deacon merch store. We have high quality t-shirts, accessories, and signature hoodies, of course, and become a true Dark Web enthusiast and VIP. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday.